Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Dika, or Decker, or Dakar, or possibly something else. Whatever it's called, if you want to get it for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details are down there. Now, in this game I'm going to be waking up in the middle of a mental asylum, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some form of amnesia. I'm not going to remember who I am, where I am exactly, or, or what this asylum is in relation to me. Did I used to work there? Did I stay there? Whichever one it might be, I am going to need to leave. I am going to be in danger, so I need to escape that danger. I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, and uh, I might turn this into a short series. Apparently it takes 8 to 10 hours to complete. We'll see about that, but yeah, here we go. Let's start. Why do I feel like that is going to be our only light source in the entire game? <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. It seems I am. One, two, three. Is this some morbid version of Sesame Street where we're learning counting on the televisions? It goes up to seven. What's the significance of seven? Hmm. Probably a little bit too early on in the game to ask that. Okay. <laughs> Ah, was I dreaming? I think I'm... I think I'm waking up next to what seems like a shrine to the Predator. It's never good to wake up next to bones. That's what I found in games like these. It's never good. Bloody hell. A candle on top of the spine? Look at that. And here we are then. What in the fuck? Oh wait, what? Oh, this is where we save? This is where we load? This is a save point? This is our typewriter, is it? A very morbid looking one. Bloody hell, so it's, it's space to use it, it seems. Okay, so space, yeah, that doesn't jump. We can crouch, it seems. Which, as it seems, stops the rain. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, we can, of course, run. And thankfully, we can pick up what seems to be a lantern. There we go, we got a light source. Not a particularly good one, but better than nothing. What's this? Uh, this is safe room note one. So... Apparently it's tab to open the documents. Uh, this says, this is the only corner where demons cannot pass. The light of the candles is safe. Find the truth. Alice Parker. Okay, thank you very much, Alice. So the candles make this safe, do they? What's this? Okay, note two. The candles will make you never forget, forget, forget. Well, to be honest, I think I've already forgotten, so the candles aren't really working. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's something over here by a bunch of pinned up voodoo dolls. What the fuck happened to this place? Uh, let's have a look. Is that a newspaper? It's a burnt newspaper. Okay. Dika. The real hell. The authorities were terrified of the scene they encountered. Dozens of bodies burned in a scene from hell. Okay. So, last morning, at approximately 3.30pm, a fire broke out at the Deka Psychiatric Hospital. It was of such magnitude that the firefighters did not succeed in extinguishing it until practically 7pm. When the doctors entered, the only thing they saw was horror. Dozens of burned bodies of patients and workers. The fire alarm apparently did not work, and the doors were closed so that no one could escape. The police are investigating what happened to clarify the facts. And there's a photo of one of the fully charred rooms, apparently. Right, well, this looks pretty fucking shitty right here, but it doesn't look burnt to a crisp at the very least. Right. Uh, anything else? We're not going to take one of the dolls? Can we go through here? We can squeeze through here, okay. Alright. Uh, whoa, now that is fucking bright. <laughs> what was that, a flash of lightning? Uh, let's see, we've got Office 4 here, which apparently is inaccessible. Can't seem to get that open. I don't know if it's left click, E, space, but whichever one I hit, it's not working. Alright. Well, I, I do like the look of the game so far, honestly. We've got files this way. Can I squeeze through? Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now, uh, that's not good. Alright, we're, uh, we're blocked from all that, but I think there's a few bodies over there just hanging from the ceiling or almost like crucified. They're on sticks. What in the hell? Okay. What's that down there? 
Oh, we've got limbs in the drawers. This is a wonderful, wonderful place. <sighs> Couldn't you have found, like, a hotel to sleep in or something? Hell. Yeah, yeah, welcome to hell. <laughs> There's another reminder where we are. Look at that. Jeez Louise, all these bodies on the floor. Right, let's see. Through here? Uh, nope, can't get through. So is this like a giant padded cell? Looks like there's a door over here. No, I can't even use this one, so fair enough. Right, uh, is that it? Oops, sorry sir, didn't want to walk into you. Um, yeah, so that was our little tour of hell. Can't seem to get through that door. The other one doesn't work. Can't seem to find any items around here. So, uh, right, let's let's leave the file section and let's maybe find somewhere else to go. That's an interesting looking candle. Maybe it's those that help me not to forget. Right. <laughs> Shitty light source, but I really do need it. Um, okay. Up here. Left or right? I'm gonna say left. Looks like there's some lights this way. Alright. Can we go under here? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Safe. 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 Is it though? Is it really? Hmm. We'll see about that, I suppose. Nothing else to find? Alright, this is Office 6. Fair enough. Uh, still need to find quite a few offices by the looks of it. Are they all on this floor? Now, am I right in saying that this game was in early access for a long time? Because I do believe there were, like, maybe Kickstarter demos or something for this a little while ago. And here we go. Right, so it's, apparently it's left-click to use, and it's actually a it's physics-based opening. Yeah, I, I feel like maybe I've seen part of this before. Never played it before, but... What are we going to find in here, then? Uh, well, there is something over here, by the looks of it. Oh, wonderful, it's a map. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, safe files and hell. Well, I've been to that area. I'm in the secretary's area right now, right? So, I'm next to the living room. I guess all these numbers, they're offices? Yeah, office six has a vinyl in it. There's a maintenance room. There's an elevator, right. Well, I suppose if I want to leave, I want to get to that elevator, don't I? So, uh, there's nothing else for me here. And I don't believe there is. I'm gonna go this way, if I can, into the living room. Yeah. Oh. Okay, no, hang on, we can we can slam open doors. Can we slam them shut as well? Uh no. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Right clicking the door is a very freaky experience. I think I've broken the door actually. I can't seem to move it anymore. Oh Let's just let's just leave it open, shall we? <laughs> I suppose if we're running, we really want to open the door quickly. Right click is the way to go. Something over here? Okay. Wouldn't call this a living room as such, by the way. Uh, this is note, what, three or four? Death dissolved all the jewels and riches. 23rd of February? 23, is that relevant? Okay, it looks like there's three more notes to find. Maybe I'm going to get three more numbers? Huh, alright. So, nothing over here. Hmm. I, uh, I know I'm not going to be alone in this game, I'm just wondering exactly when the enemies appear. <laughs> right, that's going to lead back out to the corridor. If I want to go to the, to the elevator, that's where I want to go. But, let's see, we've got a, a gramophone here? Alright. Do you think he is kind only to you? 
or is he kind to everyone? Hmm. I don't know. I think he just smiles at me because I'm the only one who listens to him. Hmm. Okay. He just smiles at you, does he? I take it that's the end. Okay, we're going to leave that running, but I'm pretty sure that's it. It's over. So, let's see. Any more notes? I'm looking for three more. You'd think there probably would be at least one more in here. But you'd be wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, well, looks like there's plenty more places to explore on the map, so... Well, let's go this way. Let's go this way and let's go left. And then, is it is it right afterwards? Yes. Looks like we've got maybe access to offices two and three here. Here's office two. Uh, inaccessible again. And then three... Three doesn't have a door, does it? Didn't look like it on the map. No, okay, right. Let's go this way. Let's go to the elevator. Let's see if we can leave. I really do want to leave. More of these candles. Okay. Did someone put some dry ice down? What's going on with that? Hearing whispering. I don't know where from precisely. I uh, can't seem to use this. I guess that's not going to be my way of escape. All right. Office one. Uh, again, inaccessible. Are you kidding me? Okay, so that's blocked off, so I don't have access to... What is that? Eight? Office eight's down there. Um, right, well, maybe we should go and take a look at offices five and seven? And then the maintenance room, that sort of area? Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's not go through the room, though. We might be missing something in the corridor here, you see? Yeah, I really do like the way it looks. Office... Oh, Office 3 does have a door, but I still can't get in. Okay, so I want to go that way, I'm pretty sure. So that way back there, that's... Yeah. Okay, that's... That's safe? No, wait. That's the way I want to go? Fuck, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I'm getting lost already. Uh... Okay, no, 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 no. I want to go this way. I want to go this way. Okay. Right, so yeah, that's the door I opened. This would be office number five. Can I not climb over this? I can't push this out the way? Apparently not. Right, uh, this way then. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really hope we're going to get a better light source than this. What is that? Are they arms up there? I think they are... Well, I was alone for a while, not anymore. This game is meant to make you constantly in danger, so, right. I mean, there is that area back there that said safe, so maybe that is another safe area? Right. Am I breaking through this, or are we going into Office 7? Okay, well, at least this is available. What's that over there? Oh, is that a key? It looks like a key. Right. Oh. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I'm making a lot of noise here. Office key number four. Oh, shit. Right, we're going. We are going. We are going this way. We're going this way. We're running away. We are going to go here. Is this safe? Let's find out. Also, where is office four precisely? Oh, that's actually across from the safe room. That that save room. Right. Oh, maybe I should rush straight over there. Oh. Oh, boy. Right, I'm turning the light off. And I'm hiding. Is he wearing Doc Martens or something? He's got some very heavy footsteps. I'm taking a peek. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, he's in front of me. Fucking hell. Ooh. He's mumbling to himself. I don't think he saw me. Probably because I'm in the dark. I've got my light off. Right, okay. 
So I want to go this way. It's going to be the last on the left. All right. Office number four. Oh yeah, it just works. It just works, right? Closing the door. That also just works. Okay. What we got here? Uh, this is this is note one of four apparently. Okay, and this one says three vestiges of life. Six of December this time. Okay. There's a couple of things here actually. Is that another one? Okay, this is two. Two is twenty-five. Giant waves of crowds crashing against stone walls. Twenty-five of January. And this secretary note. Okay. Uh, Annie Wilson. Dr. Robert Hill is obsessed with the Order. It should be because of his directorial character, but it starts to be terribly annoying. He used to sit in the safe. He used to sit in the safe. Uh, and contemplate those stupid paintings until exhaustion. He seemed to want to scrutinize them down to the smallest detail. And then he exclaimed energetically, Miss Annie, those paintings are not aligned. I don't know how many times I hear that damn phrase. Okay, so what's up with the paintings? They're not aligned. He sat in the safe. Living room, maintenance room. Oh, right. These would be where the four notes would be sitting, right? Usually. So we found one in the living room, the library. The maintenance room. We haven't gone there yet. Maybe that's where I'm going to find the other one. Okay, it looks like there is actually something on the desk here. Patient one. All right. Uh, Jeffrey Gain, I think. Is that the guy that broke through the door? That's the guy that's like roaming around this floor right now? Okay, after several tests and complimentary explorations, we conclude that it has a strong... It! It! Has a strong personality disorder involving specific areas of the brain at the level of the cortex and limbic system, all associated with extreme aggression, probably caused by being imprisoned for three months by the Vietnamese and subjected to heavy tortures and heavy blows to the skull. Right, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Recommendations. It should be monitored permanently. Right. Well, I'm going to monitor it from a distance, I think, because um, I don't think he means too well for me. Okay, well, here's the safe. Spaceman, I've got the combination. Well, I, I, I've got one, two, and three. I mean, I could probably guess at four. But let's, let's do this properly. Let's not guess. Let's go to this maintenance room and let's see what we're going to find. Okay, so from here... Oh, oh God. Right, I think I'm basically going to have to follow him. Um, I'm going to need to go... Well, that's actually... That's all blocked off over there, isn't it? So I'm going to have to go through... Oh, sorry, it's there. So I'm going to have to go through Office 7, I think. Yeah, basically through that door that he kicked down. So I'm going to have to somehow get past him. Alright. Not exactly sure where he is now. Can't hear his footsteps. Oh, he's there. Oh, shit. He's coming back, he's coming back, right. Lights off. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> that was close. That was very close. Can we... Oh, of course, no, we can't, we can't actually close the door because the door's not there anymore. Right. Uh, okay, so I think I want to go down here. That's blocked, so I can't go that way. Is there... The maintenance room, right. And it's unlocked. Fantastic. Right. Can we close this door? Right. Okay. Damn. Um, so, I'm going to need to find one last note. Alright. Can I go through here? I think I can. Which way do I go? Wait, there's... There's two more? I don't. No, I don't like this. Let's go. Let's go this way because there's a there's a big candle, right? The candles will help me, right? Uh. This way. 
No, bit of a dead end, oh boy. <laughs> if you're claustrophobic, you probably won't like this. Oh. Uh, this way? Okay. What just happened there? Okay. I want to try this one again, quite honestly. I'm not going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one on the left. I just want to see if I'm right. I'm assuming this is going to be a dead end. This isn't going to lead me to much. Uh, well, it leads me back by the looks of it. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it's got nothing to do with the candles. But that was a bit weird, though, right? It's just changed again. I mean, there's four ways to go. There's four candles. This one seems to be lit. Maybe it's the one on the right that I need to go for. You know? Uh, I guess I would just want to go as far forward as I can. Okay, well, it does seem to be opening up. This is actually looking pretty promising. Uh, is this the same guy? Oh, what the fuck is going on? It's like a copy of the room, but the candles are gone. Well, they're up there. Okay, so these three are lit up. Is there a fourth over here? Well, this one isn't lit up. And to be honest, right did serve me well before. This one seems like the odd one out. Let's go right again. This is pretty cool. Okay, again, this is looking pretty promising. I think. Ah, uh, then again, I have been wrong before. Ah, uh, can't go that way. Around here. That beeping in the background, is that anything to do with me? It seemed like it was only beeping when I was moving, you know? So, maybe that was me going in the wrong direction or something like that? Maybe I I chose incorrectly. I'm really lost now. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Wait, I'm back here. I'm back here at the first room? Where I can leave. This is the actual maintenance room. Right, okay. It, it's definitely this way to get to the second bit. Is it the, the number of fingers that you've got on your hand, or something like that? Oh now, what the fuck was that about? That time it worked. Maybe I just... I stumbled in the wrong direction before, and it sort of reset the puzzle. That was weird as hell, but right, we're into the, the third variation of the room. That guy's gone. But it looks like we do have what we need right over here. Is it two? Really? Is it just the number two? Terror rides fiercely among the deepest dreams. Two of December. Oh man, I could have I could have just entered a two at the end and <laughs> I could have avoided all of this. Right, okay, these are all blocked up. We're not going any further. Probably for the best, honestly. We're going this way. Uh, oh, hang on. Where would this go? Oh. I was not ready for that. I was definitely not ready for that. That was cheap, but my god, it was well placed. Uh, right, I, I don't actually know where I am right now. We have a line of televisions. Are we going to learn to count again? This might be a shortcut back to the actual maintenance room. I don't know. Here? Alright. Oh, did I see this in the distance? There's a blockage over there? Oh, he's there, he's there. What's this? That's Easter egg number one. Right. Was that you? <laughs> Just wondering, that actually may have been an easter egg of you. 
Oh boy. Right, well, yep, here we go. Here's our shortcut back. Okay, so, um, I've got all the notes. I should have all the numbers needed for the combination. Should. I just need to get back to that room. Easier said than done. Okay. All the way at the end of the corridor. Left and then right. Oh shit. Shit. Okay, I saw his light. I didn't see him. Oh god, he's coming. Oh, right, right. Is this a safe area? Can he squeeze through? Apparently not. No, he, he's given it up. Good. Good. Shall we save? Nah, 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 nah. Not quite yes. Not quite yes. Okay. I couldn't hear him out there. It seems safe, so all I need to do is nip across to office number four. Let's close the door, shall we? Right. Okay, so let's see. It's going to be six, two, five, two, three. Hang on. Six two five two three two, I believe, right? Yep. So Yep, six digits, that's it. So numbers on the keyboard, right? Alright, so six two five two three two. Open. It works! Alright, fantastic. And we've got Alice Parker's note. Hell. Okay, um, how n now you can pass to the hell. What? You mean the area that's through the files? Is that it? Is that seriously it? It's just a note. It looks like there's a safe within the safe, honestly. <laughs> I can't get that open. Um, yeah, alright. Well, let's see. Just need to nip down here, right? And this is another area where that guy can't get through. Okay. Well, this is, this is hell. What did she mean? Is that door open, or...? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Jesus! Oh my... That was good. That was good. Turn around. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. You got me. You were gonna die. You are probably right. You're probably right. You did this. I did this? Torture your soul. I prefer not to. <laughs> I recognize that font as well. Let's face your fears, I'm pretty sure. You can download it from like a uh, Defont or a thousand and one free fonts. Oh boy. Um What is that over there? Oh, damn! It's like the janitor from the Silent Hill film. Can't remember what his name is. Oh, what we got down here? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, it looked like I had something, but never mind. There was nothing. Right, so I'm I'm going off map now, right? There's there's nothing here. I mean, it shows that there's a little gap, there's a little door there, but then... Uh, I need to find me a pencil and draw the rest of this in. I take it this is just one of the areas in the game, if it is going to last 8 to 10 hours. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, yeah, let's hope it's it's more than this. Right. Okay. This way? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't want don't to go there. Uh, maybe this way? This is a jar? But it looks like it's blocked. There's a table or something on the other side. Okay. Let's go a little bit further around, shall we? What about this one? No? Not having too much luck with the doors around here. Uh, maybe this one. Then again, maybe not. Although, to be honest, I can actually see through this. So, maybe there is actually something there? Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's keep on going. What the hell is that with this one? Oh. 
Uh, what is this, Vegas or something? Does that say Alice Parker? Convenience Alice Parker or something like that? What the... Whatever it says, we can't get through. At least not right now. Uh, yeah, there are flashing lights in this video. I will make sure to make a note of that right at the very beginning. Okay, this is green. Green's good, isn't it? Green is very good. Okay. We've... Oh, God. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Alright, looks like we've got a note down here. And I can listen to the gramophone. Oh, this is map two! Fantastic! Okay. Uh, so... Blind? Blind. Safe. Battery. Gramophone. Are we there? Is there a battery around us? I don't... I don't think we're there. We might be in the control room, actually. That would be the Alice Parker room. There's something there, apparently. Okay. Alright. Well, okay. Let's let's close the door. Because I think I'm fairly safe. Now I'm hearing that. I'm not so sure. Uh, let's listen to the gramophone. Anything? Does he talk to you? Yes. When does he? Some nights. Okay. Let's keep talking about Edwin Powell. You said he talked to you some nights. Yes. He came crawling to get to my door. Why was he crawling? He cleans the psychiatric floors. Maybe he works at night, too. What was he talking to you about? He told me the ways in which a person can free himself. In what way, Alice? With death, of course. But not with one's own. Hmm, evidently not. Right, okay. That's that. So, if this is the control room, what do we have control over? Um, there's various knobs and buttons and stuff, but... I don't think there's actually anything I can use. No. There is something over here that I can have a look at, though. What's this? This is... Oh, we've missed patient two. This is patient three now, apparently. Who is uh, a Randall Kemper. Okay. Family history do not exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. He grew up in an orphanage. Uh, he doesn't smoke or drink alcohol, and he doesn't do drugs. Um, he reports that in the orphanage he smoked substances, but he doesn't know what. It, it lacks disease. It. It. It's always it. Uh, he is a healthy man. Okay, not always. Um, complicated with multiple psychological impulses, desire for power, and sexual compulsion. He refers to feelings of maladaptation and uselessness due to the humiliation and abuses suffered in childhood, especially of an orphanage caregiver. Right, okay. Um, unfortunately, the recommendations are covered in blood, so I can't read those. So I'm just going to stay away from this guy. Yeah. Right, through here. That is not an option. Okay, well, we're just going to have to go back to the corridor then, aren't we? Yes. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So many bodies, so much death and destruction. There's a fucking massacre. Wait, did... What just opened that door? Looks like I can squeeze through, but okay, that was a little bit suspicious. That wasn't patient underscore three, was it? Oh, what we got here? This is Diary of a Dead Person, day 34. Very specific, but okay. Um, I learned not to use light to see, because they would see it as one who sees a beacon in the dark. I also learned not to make noise, because my footsteps would rumble like drums in the dark. <laughs> Even signed, Diary of a Dead Person. <laughs> uh, someone knew what was coming. Okay. Oh, is that another save point? I think it might be. Right. Oh god, you're still alive? Ooh. Oh, now hang on. This feels very much like a trap. Okay, may maybe I should save. Let's see how this works. Choose a slot. Simple as that. Okay, fair enough. Right. So, what have we got here? Oh, this... Maybe this is patient too? I'm not sure. Uh, Frederick Garrow. Okay, 32-year-old. Um, following the appropriate examinations and the appropriate 
Rochard tests, we conclude that he suffers from severe paranoid personality disorder. He feels a general mistrust towards others and feels continually watched. He always feels humiliated by others and he escapes contact with everyone. Strongly depressed. It's very probable that the cause is to see how his daughter committed suicide while he raped her, all associated with the abuse in his childhood by his father. Right, okay. Uh, there's treatment down there, but there's actually no recommendations. Again, I think this is just going to be across the board. I'm just going to stay away from him. Yeah. Okay. God damn. Right. What's this? Don't really know what I'm doing here, but... Ooh. Oh dear. Right. So... Oh, hello, hello. Maybe I should turn it off. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely shouldn't have done that. That was him, though. That was patient underscore two. Press space when you have the vinyl. Oh, we don't have the vinyl yet. So, wait, hang on. In, in map two, I think this area was... Yeah, this is blind. So he's blind? I mean, he has no eyes, it seems. So, I guess that makes sense. Um, but still, maybe my light would be a beacon in the dark, so... Oh, I don't fucking know. Right, well, anyway, this this seems to be another safe area. And uh, this seems to be another note. Oh, no, no, it's a newspaper sheet, actually. Let's have a look. A survivor of the Deca Psychiatric Hospital fire has been found. The woman who has already been recognised as Alice Parker was unconscious in her room. She's been taken to the hospital where she's in a serious condition due to burns and smoke inhalation. The doctors still do not know if she will survive, but his testimony would be of vital... Uh, she? His? What? Uh, would be of vital importance in the face of the investigation. There's a lot of grammatical and spelling errors, but, you know, we're, we're persevering. We're just going to get through them, right? We can do it together, guys. Right. What do I do with you? I mean... <laughs> Do you want to listen to some music? To be honest, that might be that might be pretty good right now. I don't know where that guy went. I hmm. The door's open. Apparently, this is safe. I yeah. I don't like this. Well, what else was on the map? What did it say? Well, there's the gramophone battery. This ah, uh, there is one of these missing. Right, yeah, well, let's stay away from the sparks. Maybe I need to find a battery as well. Maybe. I, I really have no idea. So, yeah. Let's sneak on through and let's see what we can do. Can we find a battery? Can we find the... Can we find the vinyl? Oh, the... Uh, I'll tell you where the vinyl's gonna be. The vinyl's gonna be back in the first area in, what, Office 5, 6? Something like that? That light wasn't green before, I'm pretty sure. Is that door open now? Are we going in? I think we might be going in. Oh dear. Right, the light's going off. Looks like there are some lights inside at the very least. Where are you? <laughs> um, right, let's see. There was something on the map marked here too. Um... That's for the safe room, presumably, but that, like, in the far corner, over there, that's where I'm heading, I think, maybe? Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck right off. Okay, I, I can't get out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, there's, there's still people alive here. I'm gonna go this way, okay? I'm gonna go this way in the dark. Oh, okay, yeah. I I do I do see a light in the distance. Okay, okay. Am I just being like overly nervous and overly paranoid here? Maybe maybe he's not even here anymore, but still. Come back when you have the Oh, there's a fucking key. What key? Oh god, is there a key around here somewhere? 
I, I, I don't think there's anyone here. I haven't heard anyone. There's some people hanging from the ceiling, but I don't think they're going to pose too much of a threat. Okay. Yeah, it seems good. It seems fine. Oh, is that the key? There you go. Oh, that's office key six. Right. Okay. Maybe there wasn't anyone here, but I think there might be now. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the room, if possible. I think I'm bumping into something right now. I can't tell, though, because it's so damn dark. Jeez, okay, right. Also, am I hearing more than one? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe patient one and three have got involved as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. I can kind of see that I'm backing up towards, I guess, a wall. Right, yeah. I, <laughs> Looks like he's just wandering around like a zombie. As long as he doesn't wander into me, I'll be alright. Right, I've got the key. Oh shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna hide here by the, the sink, was it? Oh, oh. Animations aren't as smooth as they could be, but they're still kind of freaky. I'm getting the impression that this is, yeah, a, a very rough around the edges kind of game. But I am enjoying it so far. Oh jeez, that sounds real fucking close. I can't tell how close, I can't tell whereabouts, but... Oh Jesus Christ, what? God. Okay, right. I, I don't know exactly what that did. I don't know what I should do right now. I'm going to have a look at the map. So, uh, it looks like there is a door over there. Was it open? Did I see? I think I actually saw one of the creatures go through the door. And I suppose I do want to go back to that sort of hell area, don't I? And I want to go back to the, oh, the offices. So maybe I should go that way. I mean, I guess these guys do have a patrol pattern, but it's it's hard to it's hard to nail down. I don't know exactly where they're going to go next. Okay, I'm running. Oh shit! Okay, so yeah, the door is closed, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I mean, I saw patient two through that door. Shit. Is there a way through? Oh, this is a fucking dead end! Oh, bollocks. Okay, um... Do I somehow get out of the door that I came through? Was that what the switch is for? Was it for the door? Right. I'm, I'm hugging... I'm hugging the left here. Which I think might actually just lead me to yet another dead end, for fuck's sake. Right. Maybe there's only one, there's only one of these guys, and it's like the others hanging from the ceiling that I can hear. Right. Fuck, I'm out, I'm out, I'm gone. I am gone. Jeez. Right. I don't need any of that. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Well, um, I've just found out there is actually a stamina system. We can't continue running. Right. Okay. So. Office key six, was it? Office key six. So let's go back to map number one. That's that other safe area. It's, it's basically just next door, isn't it? That's where I'm going to find the vinyl. Again, seems doable. 
just have to contend with uh, another patient. And there he is. And he didn't see me. Is he going to continue going to the right? I'm running, I'm running. Ooh. Ooh, he's coming back. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he knows exactly where I am sometimes. He just he can't get underneath this obstacle. Like, he can't squeeze through the bookcases and everything go through the doorway. I think I am actually safe. Right, office number six. Where? Okay, there's the vinyl. Oh, fuck. Right off. Not again. I keep getting locked in these places. Right, well, there it is. Okay. What is that that I'm hearing? Oh, boy. Ah, uh, well, we've got quite a few crosses. This is gonna take a while. Get yourselves a cup of tea, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What was that? Don't know what that was. What that was was me finding nothing else that important in this room. Can I leave? Okay, I can. Okay. Ah, uh, now he's coming back on himself again. Right, I'm just gonna stand here. Let's see. Let's test. Are you gonna do anything about me? I wasn't entirely sure until the very end there, but no, he can't get to me, so he doesn't chase me. <laughs> he can get to me, so he will chase me. That's how this game works. Oh boy, this is fun. I am enjoying it. I mean, it's rough, but. I am enjoying it, and I uh, I hope you are as well. I hope you want to see a part two. Right. Here I go. I'm going back to hell. Or I'm going through hell, I suppose, really. So what's on that vinyl? And why does it need to be played specifically on that gramophone? These are the questions. Also, we've got people wandering around over here. I don't know, it seemed, it seemed like the patient might have access out into the corridor. If he followed me out, he, he could be out here, right? Oh, what? Oh, fucking hell, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, so, he's following me through. Right. Oh, Bloody jump scares. <laughs> they are working. <laughs> Alright. He should be able to follow me, and hopefully no one's on this side, right? Okay. Are you serious? Again? Who's in control of this door? Oh, boy. And that's gone yellow now. Maybe we can sort that out again. Anyway, right. First things first. I got the vinyl. Here we go. the music that we heard at the very beginning, wasn't it? And it's skipping just like it did at the beginning as well, yeah. Okay. Um... What was that? I didn't say that before. Right, so... Uh, I now have the opportunity to get the battery? Where is the battery? It, it would look like that? I haven't seen one of those. Is it something to do with this? Yeah, it looks like I can turn it on again. I think that went through the... the wall? <laughs> but it's green. Green's good. Green's good, right? Oh, poor guy. Um... So the battery. We're just gonna leave that music playing. We need to find the battery. Did we need the vinyl? I don't think we needed the vinyl, really. I... <laughs> I've gotta be honest, I'm not completely following the story. Uh... Can I borrow one from the control room? Okay, that door over there, that's that's gone red. Now let's close this up, shall we? Right. Come on. Still can't get through here? No, definitely can't get through there. 
And there's no batteries. None of this is running on a battery. No. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, he hurts. He hurts. Oh god. Keep on running. Keep on running. I can't run forever. Oh god. Wait, how, how is this going to work? I'm going to sneak back through, but this time I'm actually on the safe side of things. Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. I was, I was really trying to abuse the stamina system there. Just running for like 90% of what I could do and then allowing my breath to... Wait, you're on this side as well? How? How? All right, I'm going back in. If he's on that right side, he shouldn't be on this left side. But maybe the game doesn't follow logic like that. I don't know. Okay. Are there any batteries in hell? This is a question that I haven't asked myself before. I don't need to be a 10 battery man, I'm just looking for one. There's a load of bodies, but no batteries. You did this, yeah, yeah, I did this. Right. I think I just saw him turn around the corner, I think I saw the red light. That's green. That was always green. That's the door that doesn't actually open. Um, that's green as well. Oh, bloody hell. He really doesn't dick around. When he spots you, he spots you. Am I hiding here? I think I'm hiding. Oh, oh fucking hell. Right. There is another door over to the left, which apparently is accessible now. So I'm going to see if I can get to that without alerting him. So yeah, lights off. Okay, quickly, quickly. Right, let's get in. Let's... Oh, I can't fucking shut the door. Right, okay, let's... Let's read this diary of a dead person. Day 54. Okay, I could see how an inert mass that crawled like a worm was transformed into a sudden outbreak of madness and out of control. Okay. Well, I can't see that. I can't see much of anything. I'm gonna wait until he goes back, I think. Is he going back? Okay, he's coming. He's coming back. Hopefully he doesn't actually come in here and see me in the dark. He's right behind me. I should be safe. I should be safe. Okay, so what have we got here? What, what, what is this on the map? What is this? It's not that one. It's this one. There's something... Okay, there's something over this side? Oh, really? <laughs> kind of wish I knew about that a little earlier. Right, well, if he can't get in... Right. We got arrows pointing. Oh shit! Fucking hell! Uh, is that guy eating that guy's body? Oh, ah, uh, now, yeah, he, he just crawled back into his hole, which has all the arrows pointing to it. Wonderful, wonderful. Do I actually have to do that? Do I have to go in? I think I might. I think I might need to. Right. Uh, knock, knock. <laughs> I'm coming in. Okay. The hell? All right. This can't be real. You know what this is reminding me of? Actually, is little nightmares. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to see six crawling up these. So we're going in, are we? Going in. Yeah, this has actually been a fun game so far. I really do hope you're enjoying it. God. Right. Well, I'm I'm, I'm trapped in its tunnels now. I I don't know where to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go left because I hear bullshit to the right. Plus, left is 
the way to go, isn't it? Left is right. Okay, left might be right. Left isn't a dead end. Still haven't found that better light source. Uh, is it? Oh no, oh, no it's, it's not a dead end. We've got a bit of a crossroads. That doesn't sound good. Let's head away from that. Let's go this way. Yeah, follow the candles. Yeah, okay. Again, sticking to the left. Yep, that's it. Left is right. Left is leading me right to a save point as well. And I think a switch. Right, okay, well let's, let's save, shall we? There you go. Let's see then. Goes to amber, goes to green. What does that do? Does that open yet another door? Is that going to open the Alice Parker door? There's nothing else here, no notes. Okay, so back into the tunnels we go. I'm quite glad I saved, actually. <laughs> um, well, let's just head back. Oh, I don't like this. No, I don't like this at all. Okay, there is no retreat, so... Ah, fuck. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. He's, he's coming. He's coming. He's on his way. Oh, God. Don't eat me. Please do not eat me. I can't go that way, but... Okay. Uh, is this going to be where I have to sort of go through where he came from? If so, I want him to make a move. If he's going to go to the right, I'm going to go left or vice versa, you know? I'm going to go this way. Okay, right, yeah, I think I actually want him to follow me a little bit. Okay. Damn. All right, all right, some of the models look pretty good as well. I, I, I do appreciate many things about this game. Right. Come on. Come on, this way, this way. I hope. Maybe this is going to lead me to Easter egg number two. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, really? I guess he's just that little bit faster than me. I was onto something, though. I was definitely onto something. I guess I just need a bit more of a lead. Yep, I am dead. Again, facey fears. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I'm very glad that I saved then. Let's load that back up. Let's see if we can do that again, and let's not get killed. So this is going to come crashing down as it did before. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, there is no real escape. I've just got to be faster. Uh, obviously, I can't sprint when I'm like this. So this is as fast as I go. I've just got to, I've just got to get a head start, really. Okay, he's following me. Okay, right. Okay, I I think I almost went back into him there. Okay, so... What would be the best way to do this? Go right or go left to sort of get him to follow me? Does it really matter? Ah, maybe he doesn't need to chase me. Ah, you don't want him to chase you. Right, I thought that was an inevitability, but right. Yeah, you can sort of lose him down here. Good, good. Oh, not for long. Right, well, hopefully we've got enough of a head start to actually make it out alive, okay? Let's not die again. Back to the cages, right? Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, fucking hell. I nearly went straight to my death. This is impossible. This doesn't make any sense. Let's go this way. A lot of this must be in my head or something, you know? Oh, here, of all places, we find a massive 9 volt battery. What's going on? Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. That. That's more of the tunnel, I think. Right, that's why there were openings here. Again, who's controlling this exactly? Is it just because I took the battery out? Right. I... Oh. 
Oh, I can see him. I can see him, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay. He's coming. I'm gonna go this way. I'm hoping that we do actually have to reach this far corner. It does look like there is a way through. And it seems like he hasn't noticed me yet. He will, though. Shit. Okay. Right, come on. There's more of these doors. Are they... Yes, they're gonna close. Okay. Right. Left. Straight on. Left. Left is right. Left. Left is right. Is this where I first entered the tunnels? This is that first sort of cage room? It might be. Yeah, it might be. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh my goodness, it's nice to stand up again. Woo! Okay. In we go. Okay, well, I've got this battery. There's the music playing. Um, let's see what happens when I plug the battery in, right? Oh god. Okay. I'm running. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Alright, I made it unscathed this time. Brilliant. Yeah, the music's still playing. That seems to be an important part of this for some reason. So... Oh god, I'm sorry. Oh god. Oh, jeez. Uh... Okay, he finally died. And that is just horrible. Can we turn that off? No, we can't. Okay, I, uh... I, I don't know why I just did that, I gotta be honest. Maybe that was the guy responsible for all this? That was his punishment? I... God, I have no idea. I really don't. Right, I'm, uh... I'm leaving. I'm getting out of this. I... I'm hoping that there's gonna be another door open. But there's not. Control room, maybe? I no, don't listen to the gramophone just in case it never stops like the other one. There's the guy. Has he gone back to his original horn? Oh! Well, oh, the door opens. Doesn't matter if it's a green or a red light, it just opens. What the fuck's this? Soul? Soul. What's this for? Oh, this is the elevator key! What the fuck is going on here? Right, well, the elevator, that's right back near the beginning, isn't it? Look at all this! What is this? I got so many questions that I fear will not be answered by the end of this game. But, hey, I'm gonna enjoy the ride. <laughs> Alright, so... We wanna head this way. We wanna head back through hell, once again. I don't know where... I don't know where the patients have gone. Either one or two. Or three, for that matter. Hmm. Okay, so let me just sort of plan my route a little bit. So it's... It's, it's going to be out of files, and I'm going to hug the right wall, basically. Got ya. Got ya. Oh, no, I'm not locked in, am I? No. Bodies have gone. <laughs> well, not all of them, but <laughs> like the guards' bodies have gone. Okay. That was weird. Am I being given access to the elevator now? Maybe the patients want me to use it. Where are you? Ah, okay, well he's still around! <laughs> oh god. Am I gonna be safe squeezing through this? It seems like he can be on both sides sometimes. Jeez, okay, well... I'm gonna very cheekily follow him. I hope he's gonna go left, because I wanna go right. Uh... Uh, I fear he went to the right. He did. He did. He definitely did. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be here then. This is safe, as the TV suggests. 
I'm gonna wait until he comes back to me, and when he goes down to the left, uh, that is when I'm gonna make my move. Might as well grab a book and start reading. I might be here a while. Oh. Here he comes. Sounds like he's all the way over to the left. It... He is. All right. Well, there you go. Was not the route I was expecting him to take. But let's see. Hug the right wall. Over here. Yes. Yeah, through the dry ice. That's right. Fantastic. Okay. We're leaving, right? We're going to go down to the ground floor and we're going to get out of here. Probably not. Not if this game lasts 8 to 10 hours. Oh, jeez, look at that. Is that what we have to look forward to? Long way down. Very long way down. I fear we might be in the basement or something like that, quite honestly. Oh, boy. Well, there's light coming through the window, so maybe not. And look, there's a save point. And maybe I should use it, considering that we are now in a new area. Um... We actually have no documents whatsoever, no maps. Maybe some threatening presence down here, but maybe, maybe a different one. Maybe new patients are down here. For now, what I'm going to do is say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a like, and I hope to see you back for a part two. See you then. One, two... Is this some morbid version of Sesame Street where we're learning counting on the televisions? The candles will make you never forget, forget, forget. Well, to be honest, I think I've already forgotten, so the candles aren't really working. Uh, whoa, now that is fucking bright. <laughs> What's that down there? Oh, we've got limbs in the drawers. This is a wonderful, wonderful place. <sighs> Couldn't you have found, like, a hotel to sleep in or something? I think I've broken the door, actually. I can't seem to move it anymore. Oh, let's just... Let's just leave it open, shall we? <laughs> that's safe? No, wait, that's the way I want to go? Fuck, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I'm getting lost already. I think they are... Oh, dear. Oh, what the fuck is going on? It's like a copy of the room. Where would this go? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my... Okay... This way? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I think I'm fairly safe. Now I'm hearing that, I'm not so sure. Unfortunately, the recommendations are covered in blood, so I can't read those. So, I'm just gonna stay away from this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Even signed, Diary of a Dead Person. <laughs> uh, someone knew what was coming. So, oh, hello, hello, because it's so damn dark. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Okay, there's the vinyl. Oh, fuck. Right off. Not again. Oh, well, we've got quite a few crosses. This is going to take a while. Get yourselves a cup of tea, guys. <laughs> no, he can't get to me, so he doesn't chase me. <laughs> he can get to me, so he will chase me. That's how this game works. Oh, bloody hell. I was, I was really trying to abuse the stamina system there. Just running for, like, 90% of what I could do, and then allowing my breath to... Wait, you're on this side as well? Right. We've got arrows pointing... Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, fucking hell. I nearly went straight to my death. So... Oh god, I'm sorry. Look at all this. What is this? I got so many questions that I fear will not be answered by the end of this game. Ah, uh, okay, well he's still around. <laughs> we're gonna go down to the ground floor and we're gonna get out of here. Probably not. Not if this game lasts 8 to 10 hours.